Hello, Internet. Mike Byrne here from MMOBomb.com again, bringing you another episode of MMO Thoughts. And today we're going to talk about Battle Royales. All joking aside, we're going to take a look at if a Battle Royale actually needs to make sense, or if it would be better if Battle Royales that were coming out today made sense, whether that's in the IP that they are coming out of, whether that's narratively, whether there's any canon that goes into any particular events. We're going to take a look at them all. If you take a look at the Battle Royale craze over the last four years, most of these Battle Royales uh, pretty much follow the same type of formula. X number of people thrown into a battlefield, duke it out into a decreasing uh, size arena over the course of a number of minutes until there is one person or team that stands. And in a lot of cases, you don't really have to make sense of that. And, and don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying that every game should make sense from a narrative or a lore standpoint. I mean, take a look at games like Fortnite. Obviously, the success of the Battle Royale juggernaut doesn't hinge on any story beat or any narrative long-term function that makes the Battle Royale make sense. Sometimes it's just nice to jump into a video game and, you know, punch your favorite hero in the face if it's got, you know, maybe a DC license or a Marvel license or something like that. So, no, I don't think they always need to make sense, but would they be better if they did, whether that was through a narrative function or some other method of having everything be cohesive in some other way. Take a look at some of the more recent free-to-play offerings that are going to be coming out or have already been announced, and you kind of see what I mean. I'm a huge fan of Vampire the Masquerade. I love that IP. I'm looking forward to Bloodlines too, whenever it actually maybe makes it to release at some point. But recently, we have seen that Blood Hunt, a battle royale taking place in the Vampire the Masquerade IP, is moving to, along in development and nearing some type of generally available release phase. Now, we don't know a whole lot about this game, and I personally have not had my hands on it in any type of private testing or not. So we don't know if there's a narrative function going on that drives this type of battle royale where vampires are running around trying to be presumably the last one left, besides maybe the, you know, kind of vague story that a lot of battle royales put on themselves in that this is some type of competition or that this is some type of event that is taking place. And while that narrative drive is a little bit flimsy, it does generally serve the purpose. I mean, granted, there's not really any narrative reason for 99 people to engage in a battle of Tetris, right? Besides to play some Tetris. So it doesn't always have to be there, but I feel like they would be so much better if they were. If you take a look at things like scavengers, yeah, on its core, on the surface, it's a little bit different, right? You've got this whole scavenging aspect along with the bigger trappings of a battle royale. Flip over to the cycle when whether or not you enjoy that game or have even played it since it is an Epic Game Store exclusive. This is another game that has more of a PvE focus with some PvP splashed in, but when you look at it from the 30,000 foot view, it is a battle royale at heart. And both of these games have crafted lore and stories with unknown IPs, albeit, to a point that this kind of action makes sense. The cycle maybe does it a little bit better than scavengers. Scavengers playing with weather and cycle playing with weather to extremes to be the closing of the circle around players and why you would only want to be on the planet for X number of minutes at a time. So some do it better than others. And I will admit that although I like a lot of what scavengers does and the cycle does, I enjoy the cycle more because it feels like there's actually intentional reasons for me to be on this planet, for me to be doing the goals that I'm on the planet to do, and then extracting from the planet when I need to. It makes a little more sense, and I find myself enjoying it a little bit more. And maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe you play Battle Royales when you do, if you do, just for the sheer competitive nature of it. You don't need any of these extra trappings. 
If you take a look at some other things, Vigor is another free-to-play game that does this same type of narrative uh, overview for why you might be doing exactly what you're doing in a Battle Royale match. Now, generally, more of that focuses on upgrading your base and your home and things like that outside of the match, so there is that additional function which also serves the narrative function as well, not just the actual Battle Royale itself. If we go back and look at Blood Hunt, am I going to enjoy it? I love vampires. I'm okay with Battle Royales. I'm generally not like a huge mega fan, but I don't know. I feel like if you start introducing IPs that have rich histories and long, in-depth canons, then there probably should be some, I don't know, better motivation besides, hey, all these vampires are fighting for... 15, 20 minutes to try and be number one. It feels like a, a quick cash grab. And that generally pulls me away from a game, even if I like its IP. Another one on this front for me is the upcoming mobile Battle Royale from Square Enix based on Final Fantasy VII. This one totally falls into the trap of they just took Final Fantasy and made a Battle Royale because battle royales are the craze right now and you know comparatively speaking they're cheaper and easier to make than say a fully fledged rpg mmo or hero battler or anything like that and in these cases while you may argue there is a story driven function here 30 years before the events of seven soldier was doing testing it feels contrived to me but what could we do about it are there other IPs that generally lend themselves to Battle Royale, and would that make a Battle Royale more interesting for you? Maybe you're a fan of the Mad Max franchise, that post-apocalyptic world of trying to survive by yourself. This is one that I could see absolutely lending itself to a Battle Royale. You already have severe weather uh, issues and sand storms and things like that that go into the lore in the movies or anything like that. You already have that everybody for themselves type mentality. Hell, I would go for a Mad Max Battle Royale that was in the, the vein of like vigor, right? You're trying to gain supplies and things to make your home, to make your vehicles and things a little bit better, a little more functional. I would probably even go so far as to say in a Mad Max like Battle Royale, no squatting. It's every person for themselves. So I think there are generally IPs that lend themselves to this a little more. I know Jason Winter is a huge fan of wanting one day to see, you know, a melee based Battle Royale. And we do have a few of those on the horizon. Uh, the one that's getting the most attention right now is probably Naraka Blade Point. That is not going to be free to play, at least at this current time. But that does focus more on a melee combat. So in, in honor of Jason, is there an IP that we could maybe do something? I, I think you could do something with like a Camelot, right? Or a King Arthur and his court. There's always been night games and jousting and combat and things like that for entertainment so you could frame it narratively in that fashion now how do you do the closing circle and i i don't know maybe it's a constraint of the competition anyway i just thought let's talk about it a little bit if you look at battle royales now do you find yourselves drawn to the ones that have a little more rhyme and reason to them besides hey it's a competition let's do this uh, and go shoot some things, or does it help to have that narrative function? And if there is for you that desire to be drawn in a little bit, even with just a little bit of story uh, and reason, reason and rationale, what IPs do you think lend themselves to Battle Royale or would make a decent or even great Battle Royale? Or Maybe you just think the entire genre is total crap and that's okay too. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's see if we can find the next actually decent or sensical Battle Royale. Until next time, this is Mike Byrne from MMOBomb.com saying stay safe and we'll see you out on the servers.